For swim teams, back to school means back to the pool, and there are lessons to be learned. This coach definitely, she pushes me. In a sport that's tough enough already, one senior swimmer is teaching her teammates exactly what being tough means. Is it hard? Swimming's a hard sport. I don't know it any other way. I've never swam with two legs, so I don't know if it's hard with one leg compared to two legs. So is it hard? Yes. But is it hard because I have one leg? I don't know. I didn't actually register that she was an amputee until she stepped onto the blocks and stepped out of her prosthetic. So I was kind of just like in awe and I was just, I was like, she's swimming on an able one team for her high school. Christina Lang makes it look easy, even though life as a toddler wasn't. When she was two and a half, she got a blood infection from the chicken pox. And it actually got really bad. I call her my miracle baby because it hit all of her limbs. It was either the leg or potentially her life. Absolutely. It, there was no doubt. It would have been her life had they not taken her leg. Now, swimming is her life, and she's gotten really good. Sometimes when we're at meets, I have to remind officials that she only has one leg because they want to disqualify her in butterfly or breaststroke, and I'm like, remember, she's only got one. <laughs> I don't like when people see me as Christina, the, the swimmer with one leg. Go! But they do see her, overcoming something most people will never have to. Since December, she's been pumping up her workouts, hoping to step up to a new goal in 2020 to represent her country. I really want to go to 2000, 2020 Olympics, Paralympics. Hopefully, hopefully if I can get my times low enough, I can actually go to the Olympics. That's extremely impressive in my, opinion, in my opinion, because now I don't have an excuse. If I'm said I don't want to do something, then she tells me if, if she can do it, I can do it better. <laughs> and we always use that excuse with each other. And now I kind of like, I look up to her really. Do you ever cry watching her swim? I do, but don't tell her. <laughs> Swimming is something that's morphed me as who I am and made me understand that I really don't have a disability and that I'm not different. On the road in Palm Harbor, I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News.